for seven sports. Hey, Mike, I know you had already played at USC uh, your freshman season, but what was it like to be able to get a go down there, win a Pac-12 title in your hometown? Um, it was really awesome. It was sweet. I uh, called up my brother. He fake sleep on me, so he didn't really want to respond and all this stuff. He said, ah, I got to prepare. I said, your game's on Sundays. So like, you, it's Friday. And so he obviously, obviously was a little butter, but it's always the bragging rights. And I still got these two years of bragging rights on him. And so now he's going to hear it for another year until, uh, until our reign is over. But I don't think it will, it will end. So he's going to have to hear me for all three to four years. I'm going to be here. Eric Scopel, 247 Sports. Mike, it's been an up and down career for you from staying on the field. Uh, I don't, you don't need to tell me exactly why you missed those games, but how tough was that? And, and what did you learn from, from this, I guess, batch of, of games out? Um, it's tough, man. Uh, the year has been complicated with all this stuff going on. It, it's, it's something that I've just been hit with a lot of adversity in my life and a lot of adversity in, in these football games and everything like that. Um, I'm completely healthy, never was injured. So it, it was just frustrating, my situation. And um, it's just something I can't really touch up on. And I just, I have to leave it at that. Ryan Thorburn, Register Guard. Micah, what was it like playing with both quarterbacks? And, and how do you kind of get Tyler playing Coffin again? And, and your thoughts on Brown? Um, I think they're both great quarterbacks. Uh, I love them both. I got 100% confidence in the both of them. Um, I'm proud of the way they both handle situations together and how they work together. And um, I know Coach Joe Moorhead is going to make the best decision for our team and everything like that. And I'm just super excited to see how everything pans out. I love the package that we had for AB, and I love how we had Tyler running. And I just – I honestly have confidence in the both of them, and I don't miss a beat with either of them. So I'm just very grateful to have the both of them in my life. And, yeah. Kate Rogerson, uh, KZI. Besides football, obviously this year has been a little bit all over the place. What has 2020 taught you as a human being? Uh, 2020 has taught me to overcome adversity. Life is definitely unfair. I mean, we all, I'm pretty sure you've all faced it. Um, something hits you with adversity. Jobs have been lost. Um, football seasons have been lost. Uh, games have been cut short. Uh, guys have to be out for three weeks over like contact tracing or it'll be like testing positive. And I just feel for those guys and stuff like that. Cause imagine missing three games and all you love is football and stuff like that. You know, it's a lot of adversity. And honestly, 2020 has taught me that life's unfair and that um, eventually everything will hopefully pan out. The more you pray and the more I've, I've uh, touched up on my religion more and been more lenient on my Christian life and stuff like that. And that's why I'm able to overcome frustrations and stuff. So it kind of helped me learn stuff about that too. Tyson Alger, The Athletic. Henry Cattleman's kind of reached like cult internet hero stat <laughs> on Oregon Twitter. And I think a lot of that is just because fans are like, this guy came out of nowhere. But yeah. I mean, I mean just, just being on the roster with him even last year, like what can you tell us about him? Just yeah. like, like his personality and also like, We've, we've kind of heard tall tales about like how strong his leg is like you have yeah game. we call him cattle monster he's uh he's a beast um grateful for him uh it's it's awesome to have uh, him he's very consistent and i'm grateful to know that that's going in every single time and um it helped us uh gain more confidence on the offensive side we understand we're up and we want to expand our lead and stuff like that and when we have a consistent kicker we can hit it right up the uprights and we can go over there and talk trash to the demons, how we're killing them and all that stuff. It's really, it's really sweet to have him on our team. And so that's why we gave him the nickname Cattle Monster. Eric Scopel. Like you came in here with, with Sean last year. He didn't play last season. We didn't really see much of him until this past week. Can you kind of talk about what you, the progress you've seen from him and what kind of a caliber player he is and, and why Oregon fans should be excited about what he provides? Yeah, Sean's more of a team guy. Uh, I can tell you guys that right now. He is based on the team and helping the team, no matter what it is. And so I really commend him for that. Uh, he's a hard worker. He's elusive. He's quick. He knows how to make people miss. He might not be the biggest, but the best thing he does is make people miss and get open. And, and he can catch the ball uh, out of the backfield. I mean, he's pretty much all around back, and there's nothing you can really say or knock on him that he doesn't have, you know. Um, He's very talented, and 
I'm grateful to be his teammate and I'm glad we came in together because we were roommates and stuff like that. But obviously we moved out, but he's still a great guy. And uh, I'm very happy that he got that opportunity because I see him work his tail off every day. Two more for Micah, Max, and then James. Go ahead, Max. Micah, uh, Eric was talking about, you know, how it's been tough for you um, to stay on the field at, at times. Um, but, you know, just since you've come to Oregon, you know, how do you feel like your game has developed since you were a freshman and, and what are you hoping to keep working on? Um, I'm just hoping to keep working on just being consistent and uh, just staying on the field is key for me. Um, the situation I was in was unfortunate and it's just what it is. But um, honestly, I just want to stay on that field and be a guy that a quarterback can rely on that. I, he can really just up those 50 50 balls and really trust that I'm going to come down with it 100 percent of the time. You know, um, getting those opportunities is very key for me and and this team. And I just I know that our quarterbacks uh, rely on the receivers and we need to make plays. And that's really just kind of what it is, just the adversity that is, has hit me is just unfortunate. And um, I'm just grateful to be here and blessed to be at the University of Oregon on scholarship and stuff like that. There's just little things that I'm so grateful for. And uh, yeah. James. Kind of a fun question, Micah, but I know you're a big gamer. Uh, just what is, <laughs> what is playing in this game where I haven't seen the gift suite, but I'm assuming the PS5 is involved. So yeah. Uh, yeah. So, so what, what does this mean to the players where there's a lot of teams opting out because they don't want to play, they don't want to practice, they want to whatever, but you guys get the ultimate payoff and that it's the thing that everybody wants right now. Yeah, exactly. Uh, as soon as we won the Pac-12 championship, I instantly thought of PS5 and then Ring. And then I was like, all right, I got to think Ring, then PS5. But it was just really cool, man, because those PS5s are impossible to find right now. And it's going to be a great uh, Christmas gift from uh, the PlayStation Bowl game. And I'm a big gamer. I've loved playing video games ever since I was a young kid. That's how me and my brother have, have bonded. We played zombies till like 2 a.m. together. And dad will bust in our room and tell us to get off the game and we're yelling too loud and stuff. So it, it's just, it's really sweet to get that opportunity. And just, it's honored to be in the Fiesta Bowl game um, with this season and how much adversity we have faced. Um, it's so awesome. And I'm and, and it's just a cherry on top with the PS5. And um, I'm just, I'm excited and honored to play and just happy for the teammates and everyone for this organization. That's all we have for you, Mike. I appreciate your time. Thank you.